We're back in the shop, drinking beer and spinning wrenches. And in this video, we're gonna install a set of crash bars made by SW Motec on a KLR 650. Check this out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is drop, drop off the stock skid plate. And this is real easy. There's two eight millimeter bolts up front and then there's two eight millimeter bolts underneath and, and this stock plastic skid plate should drop right off. There's two, two underneath. And there it is. This is the crash bar as it goes on the bike. On one end, there's um, on one end there's two holes, and what you, I've already got the parts installed. But basically, there's two rubber grommets um, that go into the hole. If you have trouble with it, you can put a little soap and water on them to get them through. But I didn't have to. That I was able to weasel those right in place. At the other end, here. There's a U-shaped, uh, a U-shaped bracket, and that, that's going to mount to the lower frame. And inside that U-shape, on the bar itself, it's going to use this rubber pad that's supplied with the kit. It's kind of got a, a crown to it that takes the shape of of this surface. Just peel back that sticky material, apply that right to that surface, and that's going to give you a nice rubber mount on the bottom. In addition, there's a U-cap that'll go on the other side of this. On that one, there's another rubber pad supplied with the kit that's more of just a straight rectangular shape. Peel back the, uh, the self-adhesive uh, label from it. It'll apply right in here and it's pretty easy and that's gonna give you some rubber mounting surfaces for this crash bar. Now the last thing, and you can see them here is there are these two uh, uh, silver steel bushings that have been supplied with the kit. They slide into the bushings on the front from the insides, from the frame side of that crash bar. And once you have these installed with the, the bushings and, and these, um, the grommets installed, you've got the rubber uh, adhesive, self-adhesive installed here, then this crash bar is ready to install. I'm going to remove the upper subframe bolt. So take this subframe bolt out. This is going to take a an eight millimeter Allen socket. Up front, remove these remove these two frame bolts. Now here you'll use a 12 millimeter wrench on one side to hold it still, and a 12 millimeter socket on the other to break that loose. one hang on to the nuts you're going to reuse the nuts that bolt slid right out and there it is I'm going to I'm going to start the install by attaching the bar to the frame the upper frame bolt the subframe bolt and in the kit, you're going to get some longer bolts and some shorter bolts. And it's the shorter bolts that are going to go here. In addition, there's a solid steel um, spacer. And uh, there's a couple different sizes of washers in the kit. And you're going to use the smaller of the washers um, to do this. Apply a medium strength thread locker to the bolts. In fact, all the bolts on this kit, everything needs to have a medium strength thread locker on it. Uh, it's very important. Make sure these things don't back out. Now, the, the steel spacer that comes with the kit is gonna go in here to provide uh, the, the proper spacing. Now the, the crash bar, go ahead and install it approximately where it goes to get the uh, front of it 
up in behind the uh, original skid plate mounts. And then line that hole up. This is a 17 millimeter socket you'll use to tighten this, but don't tighten it all the way. Just get a good start on it for now. And let's leave that loose. I had no trouble with alignment here, but if you do, take a pry bar and go over the frame under that subframe, and that'll give you some leverage to pick that subframe up and play with it to get alignment for that bolt to start. Now I'm going to install the, the front two mount bolts into the frame here. Uh, now this time we've got the two long bolts. We've got two uh, small spacers and the larger sized washers. And I'm going to slip a washer onto the bolt first. I'm going to apply a medium strength thread locker to the threads. And then the spacer is going to go between the SW Motec crash bar and the original skid plate mount. And you may have to fidget with this a little bit to get the alignment to get that bolt through that hole. Now before we go too far, I'm going to go ahead and install the second one. Once again, uh, slipping the washer on first, then some medium strength thread locker. Getting that short spacer up in between the crash bar. And the uh, original skid plate mount and there it is there's that one so there they are now the other side is still I'm not putting a nut on it yet because we still got to do the other side of the crash bar now the only thing we've got left to install on this side is this uh, the u-cap that goes on the back side of the of the lower frame mount uh, we've already got the rubber installed we talked about earlier. Um, this one's going to go on with the, the two short uh, Allen cap bolts that come with the kit. Uh, once again, as always, a, uh, we're going to install. A, we're going to apply a uh, medium strength thread locker to those threads on both bolts. On this, you're going to use a five millimeter Allen. And we'll go in here and just try to get that started. At this point, go ahead and tighten these to uh, six foot pounds or 71 inch pounds. You know, I'm a stickler for torque wrenches. This is what's going to, A, it's going to make sure your bolts are tight enough and B, it's going to make sure you don't strip them out. Alternate a little bit from the top to the bottom to try to draw that clamp in evenly. There we go. That's it. I'll go ahead and tighten the uh, subframe bolt up to 34 foot-pounds. Right there. Yep. The other side of the engine guard mounts exactly the same way, but this time I'm going to go ahead and install the two short spacers on these two front engine bolts. That way, when I'm when I'm setting it up there, I can go ahead and just rest it on these bolts to help with my overall alignment. Okay. Now with the this side, the other side of the of the um, crash guards on, I'm going to go ahead and install the final two nuts, which are going to be on the front uh, engine mount. Uh, two flat washers, one on each of those bolts. Now I'll go ahead and thread the original factory nuts back on those bolts. 
Now this time the SW Motec supplied uh, front frame bolt is going to use a 13 millimeter wrench to hold it still instead of the 12 we used to take it off. And then we'll use a 12 millimeter socket on our torque wrench to set the torque on these bolts to 17 foot pounds. And there it is. We do the top one the same way. And those crash bars are installed and feel solid as a rock.